Takito again, flying out, rifle in hand, catches one, two, three. Oh, no! Vince really is right on the top of the And there's a double kill that comes in from Koji completely into the EMP inside. Two fires. Oh, my God! No, it's a fast fly! Four, three, one! Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Jobs, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. In the struggle, who will rise? Undefeated performance from that high tank final seat. Hey Onward Lovers, I'm Vermal. Update 1.14 offers a sparkly new bazaar, where it's our familiar favorite medium range map, but with some refreshed textures and some in-game objects in map design. Market stall drapes have been given a haircut. They're shorter and enable better visibility into second floor of Kia. The beloved ice cream truck is no more. A bigger, tarped truck has taken its place. The devs have added this interesting broken wall next to Kill Room. Take a look. A number of building interiors have turned a light blue or gray. These new changes and more are sure to mix up some bizarre metas. Can't wait to see y'all on the battlefield. Takito again, flying out, rifle in hand, catches one, two, three. Oh, no! Vince really is right on the top of the And there's a double kill that comes in from Koji completely into the EMP inside. Two fires. Wait, 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 oh, my God! No, it's a fast fly! Four, three, one!
Hello and welcome. My name is Chum Bates. This is the Onward VR Master League General Electrics versus Raptors week three, folks, of season 16. Uh, we've got a lobby just about filled up, but before we do get started, I want to run down the latest developments here in the league. Actually, hold on a second. Welcome in my co caster Shipwreck with here with me tonight. How you doing, man? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Last minute uh, save by Shipwrecked. Um, I mean, two. I guess two big names. General Electric made a big splash. This is, this is their first season, but clearly they're showing an ability beyond the Bronze Star. Raptors, they've been here for a while. You and I both know that uh, from the, se <laughs> the season 15 finals. But I'm looking forward to map number one. Right now, looks like it's Suburbia. What are your thoughts on... Um, on this matchup and uh, how do you think these two are going to do on suburbia well raptors coming in from a pretty phenomenal season last year and then general electric electronics coming in newly formed team they they've been holding their own around so yeah it's, it's going to be good old versus new <laughs> exactly this is the perfect example old versus new general electronics shooting up here in the ranking is number three after three matchups. They have their bronze star, but they are three for th three, three out of three victories. And that's why they're matched up against a master team like Raptors, who currently have only had two matchups, one of which they've lost. Uh, but I do want to give the new viewers that are tuning in a little bit of Onward League news. Uh, we've got pretty big roster changes here tonight. Uh, NA player, Emma Kosick. Uh, originally playing on Resin Mafia as well as Arrow 404. Uh, they actually are a championship winner uh, from seasons past. They have now returned to VRML. And also, Arrow 404, they went, I think, 11 matches undefeated their first season ever. They had never played onward competitively before then. Their very first season, they went master first try. I mean, Arrow 404 is a big name, but Emma Kosick, they've returned from that team. Emma Kosick plays on Proteus in the NA region. We have EU team Boss Fight returning with a rebrand into tutorial level. So Boss Fight is like the last level in a video game and tutorial level is the very beginning uh, where you get started. If, if you were just, if you were as confused as I am about their their name change, but any player Craftomic has joined Raptors, another huge NA change, master player to a master team. Craft has been reserving for Raptors and Craft has done amazingly well and is, will be participating here tonight. And uh, yeah, any team Summit, just to highlight Summit, they beat Raptors 11-9, but they lost to Mayhem 3-13. I mean, that's an ouch, right? That's an ouch. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> They're going to fill it. But, uh, but you know, hey. yeah, you're not master if you can't uh, pick up the pieces and, you know, Pull yeah. yourself we up. still have a lot of season left so this is only week 13 folks if you're just tuning in if you're unaware of what VRML is we are a competitive uplink league for onward and many other game modes uh, sorry games not game modes just uplink for onward but we're uh, we're we're a league for breachers we're a league for Vale, x8 pavlov and tennis if you're interested in checking out any of those games as well as the onward rankings go to vrml.com and you will see all of the games that VRML runs leagues for. But here we are in Onward, Raptors versus General Electric. Still missing one player. We may start in about four minutes. They might bring it to the very, very end. But I mean, Shipwrecked, if you're in here with me, like what, what do you think about this OBJ in the far north on Suburbia? This, this OBJ, it can go hot and fast. It can go real quick. Uh, or they can just completely surround the west side and make that approach really spreading out the defense, picking them off one by one. So it, it's all how it's played and how the defenses are set up and the aggression of defense as well. Uh, a defense on this objective, and it is the red car objective, uh, 
you, you can really get aggressive, but it's not really, it's not my strong suit. I'll say that much for sure. Uh, just because there's, there's not a lot of real estate that you can actually give up on suburbia. Right. Right. And try to own it. There's, there's too many, too many little avenues and cut throughs and everything else like that. So really trying to either stay close to OBJ or push out and try to dominate half of that maps. Right. No, I'm with you there. Yes, OBJ, it's, it's difficult. I'm with you there. Teams like Animal House, they're really good at Suburbia, and they excel at it, frankly. Um, me, not so much. I struggle. You know, I've played Suburbia. It's been in the map pool just as long as I've played, um, and even more, but clearly it, not much of it has rubbed off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and raptors i mean let me check their stats i mean the, they've they've had a lot of history so and and they're still pretty sitting pretty high on their round win percentages for this map as well so uh, i can general, believe that yeah. <laughs> general electronics i mean that that's the bad part about a new team these these new young teams there's not a lot of these stats and historical stats to to come around because even though some of the players some of the newer raptor players might not be good at these this map mm -hmm. but the history and their teachings through these different generations of players mm. continue to be passed on through the players on that team so right uh, that intel and that knowledge is, is passed on. So, coming in as General Electronics, you're getting all types of different knowledge and just that cohesion to come together and finding that right play style. That's that's going to be key. It's tough, you know. I'll, I'll here. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you, Shipwrecked. I've played against General Electronics, and they aren't bad. They really, yeah. for a first timers, they've got great gun game. Um, they, it felt like they knew how to play the game. So right now, I'm not expecting Raptors to completely step over them. I really am not. I am expecting General Electronics um, to surprise the connoisseurs here tonight. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a very easily won victory. Thirty-one connoisseurs have voted in favor of Raptors. Thirty-one, and only two have voted for General Electronics. Uh, you know, the captain themselves has, have said, hey, it's going to be a blast no matter what happens. And somebody gave the prediction 12-7. And the captain said, yeah, that's that's giving us too much credit. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think yeah. as long as G General Electronics um, give it their all, I think we're in for a really great show. Really great show. Yeah, absolutely. Based on their stats, they've... They have been rocking it so far, so. Absolutely. They got to third. They won three out of three for a reason. Um, yeah. But it's up to them to show us, like, hey, how do you do against the Master Team, who have played for years, seasons? Um, yeah, I just want to quickly shout out Voids and Connor. 279 Canadian, $2 US from Connor. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for cast uh, for, for – um, Chumbe and Shipwrecked cast with a bunch of emojis from Connor. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. So James may or may not end up coming in um, later tonight. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's up to them. But Shipwrecked, you ready for round one? This is this is it. Here we oh, go. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. I I'm ready to see just what they have. And starting out. Uh, right here on Marsock, we're going to get a taste of what this match is going to bring and what General Electronics is going to bring. Quick pre-fire through lane three, but it's not going to catch anybody. That nade might. Oh, my gosh, is that close to craft. What a toss by the captain there. Interesting play. Raptors pretty held back, really. They are just surrounding the OBJ and not much else. General Electronics also taking their time. Posted up in mid with Kiwi with a long peak here on lane four. 
Um, any predictions? This is not how I expected a bronze team to play. Yeah, uh, I mean, they, they pushed in, and they're not just rushing. They're – it almost looks like they're – yeah. waiting them out to see if they have any of those flankers coming so and if the Raptors are going to get aggressive and so far they're holding their own I think with one of the not drawing any Raptors out right no I think one of the benefits of them kind of tucking back on OBJ I mean you can see coaches there north of lane 2 same thing with Marksman there in the far north the northwest what they're doing is basically just forcing Marsock to be careful and push through with with util here comes a possible peek by marksman not actually nothing yet yep. look at that Huey spots the barrel of soldiers actually soldiers did get hit and marksman taking shots at I'm Ryan what a pick here Coach with the revive, and there goes Canadian. Somehow finds soldiers. Tar shots flying over on lane two. There's a headshot that by that the way. captain. Raptors on their back heel. 3v4. And there goes a trade. 2v3 now. Yeah, sitting back and just, just trying to pop them off just one at a time. Not getting too aggressive. I'm and getting really nervous putting, for Marksman. Yeah, three guns against one. That's it's hard. We'll make it two now. Good. Good pick on lane two. And uh, good on Marksman for rotating off. They don't. They cannot get picked. They've got to defend this. Because they still have a fighting chance. Craft still tucked in on lane three. We could see a pinch, though. I'm not sure what G's has got up their sleeve. They are just kind of stuck frozen here on mid. What do you think is happening here from Marsoc now? They're they're utilizing that time. They have three minutes left and and it looks like they're utilizing every second and just trying to maybe get intel on where the final remaining two Raptors are. Whoa. Interesting yeah, was... nade choice by Kraft. Good thinking, but not quite. Whoa, there goes a pick by Marksman from lane three to two. General Electronics, they have lost their numbers advantage, and it's all left up to the team captain. Yeah, and it's not looking good. Kraft having that line. And even for if some reason he does lose it, Marksman's right there to get the quick refrag. Right, 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 right. Mm, getting nervous. Getting nervous. Absolutely. Get that that anticipation. <laughs> If Marksman doesn't do a peekaboo, I think Kraft has got this kill lined up. Unless, you know, unless that elbow peeks oh. through first. Oh, right now, not looking good for Kraft. They're looking back now. Pick up that flash, Khan. Yeah, there goes that pickup. Stored it in their chest. Marksman doing a little peekaboo, but Khan may get this pick. No, they're not looking. Oh, oh they get, oh, the AK-5C goes all into the wood. Oh. And they somehow oh. don't get fragged. They're still up! One minute and counting, shipwrecked. How the heck did they manage that? I don't know, but... <laughs> that was, uh... I, marksman just shooting all around him. Oh. What?! Oh. Somehow they got the pick and they're on OBJ! Tablet is out! Is this a cap on Marksman? Oh my god, the tablet is out! Crash it back to OBJ! It's 2-0! The Bronzies! The Bronzy gets 2-0! What is that? An earth-shattering uplink! Oh! <laughs> 
completely what? unexpected. What was that from Khan? Somehow Marksman didn't catch him there. They got the pick onto Kraft. Look at this swing. Artfully done with the AK-5C and a drop shot behind cover. What was that? A fumble. Yeah. Uh, pretty good flash. I don't know if it was able to reach out to Marksman. Right. But it, it definitely got Kraft. And that's what oh it got craft. My gosh. I didn't even realize there was a flash out. I heard I know I heard it, but I yeah. didn't connect the dots. That was amazing. That was truly spectacular cap. And all yeah. captured here live, folks. If you want to show up here on the big screen on a VML official cast, uh apply. Apply today. Apply right now. It is free to join the Master League for onward. Type into the your the closest browser you've got on uh, vrml.com forward slash onward or go to vrml.com and click on onward and register. Make a team. Hop on our Discord. Discord link is on the website. Um, yeah, talk to some strangers. You can even apply as a reservist um, if you want to do that and just feel things out. I cannot believe a cap on the first round. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. Coming in pretty hot. <laughs> If you are interested in joining, please don't hesitate. VRML.com forward slash onward. Here we go. Round two, a cap from General Electronics. Wow. What a play. Break this yeah, Marsock pushdown. <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? I mean, I'm seeing an aggressive lane one peak and Raptors, they're, hold back. they're holding back here too. General Electronics getting getting aggressive on their defense. More aggressive than what Raptors were. Right, absolutely. I mean, look at Khan. They are ready to push out lane two. I mean, I actually really like this spot. As long as lane three and four are covered, at least the exits, so Khan can't get, can't get shot in the back, I think this is an amazing spot because those flashes, how often do you just flash here? instead of the exit of lane two. I think this is a great spot by Khan. Yeah. They could swing aggro the same way they did craft with maybe even a counter flash. They could find some picks. There's that pre-fire again, pre-firing through the hedges, but nowhere near Khan's position. Yeah, and it looks like, I mean, craft. I just seen him poke up on playground slide, just trying Ooh. to get a peek. Craft gets tagged. They get shot. <gasps> no way! Oh. The need! That was awesome. <laughs> Incredible need. Perfectly done. Khan will hear these footsteps from Messino and soldiers. I just can't wait to see what kind of push they do. There's Ryan that finds Coach. Kiwi finds Marksman. It's only a down. They can revive. What? It's a two on four on Suburbia. Is this the Raptors Ooh. kryptonite? What's going on here? Talk to oh. me. And a C4. Yeah. Uh, 40, 40. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if just Raptors are off or they have found their kryptonite. I mean, nice. this is. What we got? Oh, that's two. Or maybe just shaking after that first. Well, we know where that guy cap. is. Try to pre fire. But getting the refi, getting the revive, it was key. What? Oh. Ryan from lane one finds a pick getting... on Messino. Minus one, minus one. And, and that could be it as well. I mean, they saw a very, I don't know, uh, a very slow Marsock push, and so they were, I guess, thinking maybe they would be a little bit more hunkered on OBJ, and they're just that randomness. I mean, Marksman just... is anticipating a flank. I mean, this goes to show that's the master experience there, anticipating mm -hmm. and calculating 
but somehow General Electronics, they're the one who have two points on the board here and made it into a 1v4. So clearly, something not, something's not going right for the Velociraptors. Yeah. Yeah, coming in and with their with their tier of players and everything else. Right. I I don't know if complacency stepped in and now they're shaking. I don't know. We shall see. Two minutes, that's a long time. Comes Ryan, coming from burning. Is Marksman even ready for this? Ryan sees him. There's the AK-12. Another headshot. Got him, motherfuckers. Got him. Dang. Impressive. 3-0. This is no joke now. Yeah. <laughs> Everything just got real. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Was it a fluke, folks? I need a, I need a, I need to look at the chat right now. Yeah, it, it's going. <laughs> it's going. Yeah, it, it's all. Over. Oh, they just watched it. They just watched it. Okay, we're seeing some clips going out. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! But man, <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of crazy. Oh, and raptors. Did have a drop, it looks like. You have a drop. I believe Marksman has gotten out. Stay tuned, folks. Hang tight. My gosh. I'm really just... That, that's insane. Insane. Okay, so I did receive some intel from Cobra in the live chat on YouTube. GE is made up of former VRML players. Okay, so clearly, <laughs> clearly, because my gosh, uh, I mean, Con, this is their first team ever. Uh, Karma is not, this is not their first rodeo. I'm not sure who Karma is. Who is Karma? Uh, let me see what we got over here. We got to look at the records. Karma supposedly played for Aging Moss, so we're doing our homework, folks. Hang tight. Yeah, I recognize Kiwi. There's Karma, season fourteen for Aging Moss. We're do we're we're doing uh we're doing some investigation, folks. Bit of investigation. Yeah, we got Kiwi from Saints and Sinners. Oh, Kamar. They used to be called Kamar on Aging Moss. And now they're called, what are they called now? Karma. Huh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I am... I'm confused. Hmm. I know, I know Gavin. Gavin was an ex-Arctic yeah. um, Wolves, right? Yeah, Karma used to be called yeah, Kamar, yeah. so... Yeah. We'll see. No news of any timeout. We'll double check. Yeah, they are still down one player. Folks, you want to watch that replay? Because, oh, uh, there goes Marksman. Come back in. In the meantime, here's the replay of Suburbia, what we've got so far. Look at that nade onto Kraft. I mean, that is... Look at this, Cap. Really strong start so far. Okay, so yeah, I, now I see that flash did go out. Beautiful play by Karma. Beautiful play. Yeesh. Yeesh. Yeah, I mean, Oof. It stinks. 
after a Summit loss, right? Because Raptors lost against Summit. And here at the casting desk, we were we were confident that Raptors were going to, you know, brush it off, water off, yeah. the, uh, off a goose's back or whatever that saying is. Um, off but, a duck's back. <laughs> duck's back. But it's 3-0 on Suburbia. That's got to add fuel to the fire for map two because this is GE's yeah. map pick, folks. We've got the bands up on the board. GE is banned. Quarantine and Snow Peak, big long ranges map. Downfall still is actually on the table, and Raptors clearly avoiding those close quarter range, ranged map. Arctic and Cargo, the two smallest maps. Suburbia, not too far from Cargo and Arctic, so mm -hmm. uh, I, can, I can understand. Okay, we're here. Round number three, South OBJ and your Volk house. What do you think of this one, Shipwrecked? This one... This one can be pretty easy to guard, in my opinion. This is one of my favorite, favorite uplinks to be on Volk. Uh, you just have to be aware of all the cap locations. Ooh, some nades going frags. out. A lot of nades, and there goes soldiers. Early pick, but it's only a down. Kama still resible. Gives out those callouts. Kiwi can duck behind. No soldiers catches a hint of that. There's that revive, 5v5, but Soldiers knows about that spot. Canadian yeah, reinforcing. they are hunkered. Soldiers is not careful Canadian can't catch this. They definitely could catch this. Smoke out. They could rotate. Canadian's still locked in. Let's not forget here on lane three. Yeah, there goes Khan yeah. on playground. They have the slides. They clear out the first floor. And uh, luckily for them, they're able to push this uncontested because nobody from Volkhaus is actively peeking here in playground lane three. Yeah. What's the they, next move? They were at first. They were at first and then tucked away. But it was that onward timing missing right, all the right, peaks. Right. Uh, they are spreading wide, so it's really going to put Raptors at a disadvantage. You have three, three Raptors at Volkhaus watching a pretty much a five-man, four-man push. Well, three, two of them just linked up at center house. Yeah, I mean... Canadian and Karma where have been able to push lane one. There goes a flash that will catch Coach, but that's not going to do much right now. There goes a yeah. nade by Kraft onto Ryan on the first floor. Big pick here. What a nade in the living room. And there goes Canadian. Oh, my gosh. Karma could have taken them out. Oh, it is a trade. It is yep. a trade. Soldier's still resible. Yep. Oh, there's Kraft. Yeah, that was solid. I see that. I was trying to get over there. And Kraft held his own and waited for him to rush to get the confirm. And Kraft was able to jump out on him. Wow, look at that. And Marksman with the AK-12. Cans AK-5C not locking in. I mean, look at all that work that Kraft and Soldiers have done. Nade from afar. And there's Coach with a long oh. angle. A headshot with the AKM. Out of nowhere, they close it out. One point on the board for Raptors. Yeah, I think they I take I think they've taken their stand. Yeah. And just no more. They're locked in. I heard soldiers yeah. let's lock in. That's what I heard them say. And they really have. Still 3-1. <laughs> Nothing's promised. Nothing's guaranteed. They can't slip up at all. So yeah. So so tell me, I mean a lot of work done here from mid the mid room a name by craft absolutely decimated the living room but that double kill by soldiers plus the revive yes. i mean i think it i yeah. think it was just luck that that soldiers peaked at the right time onto the apc and at canadian what was that yeah it, it looked like it was all lined up so he it was an easy two piece just raising the barrel just a little bit right you didn't have to really adjust your actual 
like twist your head and and change angles you just have to raise that barrel up a little bit and get on that next target and that's what made it real easy for that right the revive coming out yeah. it did look like they were going to go up and confirm from the downstairs living room and mm -hmm. craft just held his held his own and maintained that discipline right and as soon as he rushed up craft pop out and finish the job right there because craft i don't know i'm pretty sure that i'm pretty sure if craft went to confirm that body in the living room they wouldn't have been peeking the slides but if they yeah. did overextend by accident the captain of ge would have definitely found the pick there that was round yeah. four folks i'm gonna have the uh, the kds up on the board round five now Lock in, if you haven't already, same OBJ. This time, General Electric is defending. Three in mid. The three in Volkhaus, two in mid. This is exactly the, 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 the Raptors defense apart from the... I don't know, maybe very similar. Yeah, yeah, but changing it up compared to their last objective. So it's really throwing Raptors for a loop, like... They play one objective crazy wide, taking right. as much, taking up as much real estate as possible. And then next OBJ, they're just hunkering down and mirroring what the Raptors did. It's really hard to try to, to analyze and break down that team when this goes down. You can't anticipate anything. Shot on, shots on second floor. A little bit of a standstill here by Raptors. They're just feeling their way out here. They have barely approached the midline. Here comes Soldiers breaching into burning. What an aggressive pusher this guy is. And he's ready for it. It's the rest of Raptors who doesn't seem like it. It was Soldiers with the 2K. Yeah, no one's really exposing themselves to rap or to uh soldiers they're really tucked in and Ooh. Don't don't talk to me about canadian spot here i mean they are tucked in in volcounts but look at this they're gonna peak soldiers for karma Soldiers tucked back to to playground. What do you, me, what, do you yeah. what what do yeah. you think is gonna happen here for Raptors? Like what are they trying to do right now? Are they trying to push mid? Like, oh clearly. Man, it looks pretty much the same thing. It looks like they are gonna try to contend center house. What a nade. Cause everything they've checked on Volk House, they haven't seen anything. Right. So Okay, I think they did spot Karma. I'm not 100%. First floor, Volk. Keep your eyes out for that, folks. There goes a pre-fire from Kraft onto that position. What a great pre-fire. I mean, you can tell these players are master just because of the map knowledge. No way. Kraft looks away at the perfect time. Misses Kiwi peeking that. There goes that call out. I mean, everybody in Volk House maintaining trigger discipline, not really. Canadian is chomping at the bit because he. I heard him ask earlier, should I risk it for the biscuit? Right. And and they're saying no. Whoa. Got the guy shooting at you. There's Kraft, who goes down lane two. Not Kiwi. Coach From on their Volk doorstep. House. I mean, what's required to breach this house? Like Ryan... Just to clarify for folks, Ryan on the first floor, Khan on the second, this living room. I don't know. Yeah, they've got they've they've got a lot of things to contend with uh, to like just get in any only, type of cap range count. on this objective. And then they still have to come and go against Kiwi that's actually on objective. Ooh. Got one front window house left side. I mean, if they try to come around the east and cap from behind, they're going to have to 
contend with second floor of center house and then Canadian. And then when they get past them, they still have to contend with Kiwi. They're just hunkering down and waiting. But I'm Ryan right here on three. Oh. Whoa, Canadian so finds there's... Mason. There goes that confirm. Whoa, it's Coach that finds Canadian on the top floor. There's Marksman, a quick refrag, but there's Ryan still here on the first floor. Volkhaus is completely gone. It's up to mid. All right, two of Raptors inside. Here comes a the swing. There goes a the headshot by Ryan. The coach shut down. It's all left up to Khan, the captain. Who did Marksman make that call out? I don't know. Whoa, the headshot yep. certainly came out. Yep. Good kill there on the top floor. 3-2. Raptors, uh, I don't know. They're still... They're still definitely oh, not off the hook. They're having yeah. to fight for it for sure. Yikes. Thank you but, so much all for tuning in. No, talk to me. Yeah, I mean... Raptors, I mean, spreading out, just trying, getting those pre-fires, trying them, really trying GE right. on this map to get them to peak. And yeah. hearing some of the banter and some of the comms from GE, I mean, it. there was a lot of them really fighting that inner demon to peak. And they had a pretty good stronghold, but when they had that opportunity to shoot, that gave the Raptors the intel they needed to identify them and slowly take them out. Just like Kiwi in the back behind objective. I mean, they knew exactly where he was. Marksman was on one side. Coach had, uh, or no, I think it was uh, soldiers had the other line on right. him. And he had nowhere to go. As soon as Kiwi peaked, they were getting into a gunfight if he wasn't ready for it. And... I that, that's how Raptors do. I think what's also really important to note is the fact that General Electronics, they lost bulk house. Like, how do you do that? All you yeah. gotta do is just like stick to the wall and just watch that narrower angle and prevent a cross. But they were actively trying to get picks into the middle of the map. And I think that's where Raptors, mm -hmm. they just punish them. They just yep. punish. Um, it's reported uh, on more than, more than one team in the master division, in the master tier, that Raptors, they just punish peekers, and that's just what they do. Here we go. This could be the end if General Electronics manage to find... Uh, whoa, are there only four Raptors? There are only four Raptors. Raptors aren't aware. Oh, there's oh, an attempted hey. round reset. Okay. okay, round reset. Ooh, <laughs> very close. Very close. Yikes. Very close. Um, and, no, and that's a bad time to do it. You're really, I, I know it's, it happens. Yeah. But given that advantage to GE, yeah. letting them know their spawn location. Yeah. Cool. Just more time, right? That's why right yeah. now they're right back. They're right back into spawn. That's why um, they don't want the, uh, the Marsoc to have more time to strategize and, and prepare for their spawn. Here we go. Folks, this is a playground OBJ. Here comes soldiers. Big swing on lane four. How many picks can they find? Watching the cross. They're moving, and they get shut down. Big punishment from GE, but it's not over yet for Raptors. Oh, what? What a nade. Confirm nade. Goes short. No way. Kiwi. <laughs> Takes out themselves and another with the nade. No warning here. And just like that, General Electronics lose the one advantage they had. Yup.
What's next I mean, just, after a fumble just, like that? Yeah, they they know where they're coming from. They know the spawn. They've already shut down the far lane four push. The only thing is, I mean, what I've been noticing, they're pre-firing through a lot of common places, through bushes and fences. That's really putting craft at a disadvantage, just what? like that. I think Kraft was. I think Kraft was clipping. I don't know how Can got that frag, but well, well they've been doing it because Can just shot through where Karma is, pre-firing those spots. Ooh. I go for it. Knowing these these positions and having that intel where not just where Raptors play, but where everybody plays is extremely important right now. <gasps> Wait, Karma actually Ooh. walks past Marksman. Are they ready for this, though? Smoke. They are, but it's only a trade. The confirm can go out from the ones on OBJ. There's Messino with the confirm. It's all left up to Ryan. Plenty of time. Flash out. Doesn't catch any Raptor. But with one person going up against two Raptors, that's a lot of, a lot of ground to cover. A lot of work. A yeah. lot of work. And it seems Ryan is doing a really great, actually. Yeah, going, right here is where ooh. Coach could try to pick him off. No, I don't. He, I don't think Coach is even p thinking about this. I think Ryan is about to get Messino, but Messino is ready for that rotation. I'm nervous for Ryan because all they know, Raptors can be anywhere here in in this uh, southeastern corner of the map. And they are checking all the Pescos, all the possible spots where they could be hiding behind. So, so here's what I think Ryan's going to do. I think Ryan is going to actually push along the road that they're on now. And they're going to try to swing wide past the APC. And maybe they'll find Messino. Maybe. Yeah. But I'm not sure how much intel got out on Coach, and that really puts him at a disadvantage coming from that angle. I mean, they, they've been popping off some pretty good pre-fires. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So... I, I, I just... Yep, that's looks like that's the angle they're taking. Ryan cannot make a peep. They are so close no. to coach. They are so close to OBJ. No, they made a footstep. Question is whether coach heard it or not. Yeah, I just came over here to try to hear if any call outs were made or hand signals or anything. And I haven't seen anything. Doesn't seem like it. Here comes Ryan, indeed, pushing up. Lane four sees a snippet of Messino. Who's going to win this? The Virtus or the AKM? It's the Virtus, a headshot by Ryan. It's up to Coach to clutch this. One minute and 25 seconds left. And Coach isn't even holding that angle. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Coach doesn't know the kill count, so they're actually yeah. multitasking. Oh, did he hear that quick rotation? I think he did. Mm -hmm. Again, Coach doesn't know the kill count. They are multitasking in their mind. Don't lose discipline, Coach. Coach wants it. Coach wants it. Coach needs it. He's hunting it. Or not. There's the tuck back in. That, that's purse. the smart play. Just. Oh, hop up. Whoa! Whoa! Three three I folks. About to miss them. <laughs> three three. Incredible. I don't know. Shipwrecked, I'm getting nervous. I, it's I think three the three on in their groove. <laughs> I'm telling you, it it did something to him to see yeah. to see two O on the board like that and then three O on the board. 
Absolutely. Yikes. We've got, guess how many viewers, without looking, guess how many viewers we've got right now. Uh, 30. 44, my friend, 44. Isn't that, all right, all right. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for tuning in. We've got plenty of people cheering on GE, as well as some uh, some long-standing Viermont players coming in for Raptors. Do you have a prediction? Do you want to put place your place your word place your place a bet on anything? Man, after <laughs> after watching it. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> this is going to be a hard one <laughs> for sure. I mean, I, I always like the underdog, but at, at this point, I don't know who the underdog is. Literally. Because Raptors Jace just came out from a really, like, not the biggest loss, but a pretty big loss there uh, with Summit. And here they go trying to fight back 3-0 to a 3-3. Three, three. You're right. Who is the underdog? Yeah. My gosh. One of the things that I love about this OBJ shipwreck, to, you chime in whenever you want, uh, if you resonate with anything. All right. But my favorite part, the favorite part, my favorite part about this OBJ is that you could pull out two PKMs. This was back before the, the speed, the movement speed update, but you could yeah. put two PKMs basically funneling the spawns as soon as you spawn in, you just pre-fire the south road and you pre-fire lane three, and they can't go anywhere. Yep. But anyways, that's that's before, but this is now round seven. GE has brought us here. They are now defending the playground OBJ Raptors with the same Marsuk spawn in the north. Well, the utilities coming out on the lane four push. Whoops. No one's really out there to contend on lane four. We, we may have a t technical difficulty with Kiwi here. Straight out of spawn. They look disconnected. And look at Karm. Khan pushed up lane two. Head to head with Coach. There goes that call out. Whoa! Close. For reals. Thanks for that Hasco box. <gasps> Coach gives out a call out and Khan does hear him. Oh, is this a piece of util coming out? There it goes. What a oh. down! Perfectly cooked. Good one, good one. And the confirm. Marksman all the way south on lane one. Out of reach for the refrag. There goes Marksman punishing that north, the southeast. Yeah, killed one. Killed Look at Khan on the move. But their defense, their defense is completely. <gasps> they open. catch Marksman with the flash. Look at the movement, Marksman. The experience, the free fire. Khan wins it. How do they do that? Last. There's Crab taking out Karma. Yeah, everybody left OBJ. Canadian did rotate back. I mean, take that as a warning, folks. If you get two frags on Raptors and you don't... What? Oh. What? Raft, giving it back. Kraft was like, shut up, chum. Watch this. Yeah. But that revive, we're back to a two on three. Folks, if you get two frags onto Raptors and you don't hear anything from the other side of the map, you're in danger. And Kraft brings the heat in again. Yeah, he's 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 working it. Big flash. Soldiers coming in. Another flash catches Canadian. Kraft pushing in further. Will he swing this? No, he doesn't. Or just keeping them occupied, let Messino come in. Three minutes left. There's that oh. swing! Canadian finds one! Oh, and Soldiers finishes it. It's 4-3 Raptors with the insane comeback after a huge multi-kill from the General Electronics captain. Somehow they brought it. 4-3.
from a 3-0. Yeah, really, really striving and putting their foot down and say, okay, we're done. <laughs> We've given them all that they're going to get on Suburbia. Coming Inc in strong. Incredible plays. <laughs> Folks, thank you for staying with us. Map one. <laughs> uh, pretty crazy map one. Map two and three. Uh, we're sure that uh, both of these teams are going to bring in that, bring on the heat. This is the Onward VR Master League. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. More content. General Electronics versus Raptors. My name is Chambe, co-caster with me, Shipwrecked. We'll be right back after this break. Except and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, as soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. In the struggle, who will rise? Undefeated performance from that high tape final scene.
Welcome back, folks. That was that was map number one. Raptors take it. It was a close one, 3-0. My name is Chumve. Welcome back, Shipwrecked. How you feeling for map two? Man, map two, it, it, I don't know. They can get, General Electronics can get just as squirrely as they did on Suburbia. Uh, they can change it up, they can play close, or they have a lot of real estate they can take over. Seriously, yeah. Uh, and, but this map, I, I'm not sure their extent of their map knowledge. You can have solid lines on this, or what you think is a solid line, right. but due to this hilly terrain, can cross right underneath those those good lines so having that map knowledge and knowing the the correct path to take to get from point a to point b being undetected right is going to be difficult i mean listen we saw mayhem and raptors you say mayhem really knows this map well at least the the topography and and yeah. just the, all those spots but listen raptors this is one of their strong maps too they did incredibly yep. well throughout season 15 and the postseason. So I'm expecting General Electronics to suffer a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's see if they can translate those flicks that they showed us on map one. Let's see if they can find those like steady hands here on downfall. Folks, round number one underway. Raptors on Marsog, General, General and Electronics defending the first obj of the night folks this is west heli yeah i'm not seeing anybody really focused on like any type of spawn identification coming from general electronics all right con taking the first peak looking into valley and then rotating back onto obj so here's what's concerning to me the only, by the way, Gavanter, welcome in. That's uh, a, a roster rotation there from General, General, Ele okay. General Electronics, dear goodness. Okay, uh, but that's a roster change and they are defending. They're the only person, only defender who is actually covering the cap attempt, the deadliest cap attempt, the cap push, right? Yeah. Onto West Telly. They've got that long angle from inside the second floor and they're watching just the cross into that eight, cap room on OBJ. But then again, the topography and this narrow angle doesn't give them sights onto everything. Shut up. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gavin, Gavin is going to be key. I mean, if anything happens to Gavinator, I am Ryan's really exposed trying to hold that line. Right. Uh, and the way the Raptors are setting this up, Ooh. the Yo, way Raptors are setting this like, up and really spreading them out with Marksman way up in the South Hills, it, it's really, it could be anybody's guess on where they come from. Oh my gosh. Marksman with that drone out. Marksman indeed is in the mountain, but... Not quite where Ryan thought they would be. Here's that drone. We've been we haven't seen a lot of drone on downfall, but in the past few casts, we definitely have seen people liking the drone. I'm not sure what it accomplishes. Maybe they see something there on hotel. There it goes well, shot down by an AK-12. Couldn't see, couldn't see. And that as well. I mean. Those experienced players can hear shots and have a pretty good idea where that Volk member is at. Right. So we can go ahead and count Ryan's spot has been given up and Khan's spot has been given up taking the shot. But I, take, think, I feel like somebody on OBJ is a given, right? Basically on every single team's strat. That spot behind OBJ is like a given. A smoke goes out by soldiers. And we'll see a long angle by Karma actually from Southwest. Ooh. Yeah, but back back to this OBJ position. Yeah. 
there could be a number of spots this player could be at. A lot of times, having a guy actually in the building is, is a pretty good safe, safe play. Don't, don't peek, don't peek, don't peek. My sergeant is calling me on my phone. Ooh. Uh oh. Yeah, soldiers calling out. They only have two minutes. They really can't. That comfort can't go out, but Coach has got to be careful. Can Coach land a headshot? Ryan is peeking. What? Oh, they get away with it. Yeah, callouts were made on him. If soldiers pre-fires that shed there where... Yeah, they where just Canadian called out is. Canadian. They just called Canadian out. There it is! What a spray. One minute, 30 second. Marksman is literally across the entire map. If they're the last up, they're going to run out of time. What? Yeah, two shots. Still... It took two shots. Gavinator still in that very strong defensive position. And Karma and Khan. <gasps> oh, I say that. That's an angle right there. A second headshot oh, by Marksman. Kraft. Okay, Craft Tomic. Fifty seconds. Craft has cleared the eastern side. Oh. But here they come. Oh, they're going to be pushing second not floor. Not paying attention. Not paying attention. What? Coach they were. In. Oh, Coach is in. what? Coach is in. That's the position. It's over. 2-0. Raptors, they respond back. Yeah, that was kills? coordinated. Yes, yes it was. Knowing, knowing those stronghold positions it is key. Right. And really only relying on one person to protect that side of OBJ is... Ooh, it's devastating, as General Electronics found out. I think this is complete karma. 2-0 from yeah. General Electronics on Suburbia. 2-0 from Raptors now here. I mean, if, if Raptors are able to actually come in and do the same General Electronics treatment here on Suburbia but actually close it out again, um, yeah, it'd be over for the series. But let's see if General Electronics can pull off a Raptors and find a downfall. I think that's a really that's that's a big ask, in my yeah. opinion. Big ask because they just lost this round. They lost two points. They gave two points to Raptors in a two v five, and in the end, yeah. it turned into a one v five. So yeah, that was that was brutal. And the best part is they knew where he was because right. they were making taking shots at him. I think it was Coach was taking shots at Karma right. from Upper Red. So they knew exactly where they were. They had all the time in the world to cap. They get Gavin, Gavinator contained and dealt with. And the cap is theirs. Jeez. All right, here we go. Round two, same OBJ, Raptors instead. This time they are spawning in the south. So they will have a south heavy push. I don't know if they'll be able to push into the north. Well, we should be seeing some early peaks from General Tronics momentarily or not at all. Actually, they're not peaking nope. whatsoever. They're going to let this happen. None. Nobody. Look at Raptors. They're hesitant. They don't want to push this just in case. Soldiers coming out to lower dumpster to get a little bit more One minute, real estate. 
Raptors calling out the South Spawn so they can start anticipating. Absolutely. And I think Soldier's position is just so dangerous. Look at Coach. Finds one trying to push center. God, that that slap, that magazine yeah. slap is so satisfying. <laughs> I mean, soldiers' position—they are kind of like a satellite Volk here. They're—they can do so much. They've got a great, yep. great sight lines onto the north, but they can also give out give out amazing callouts and have great potential here in the south as well. What do you think, General? Do you think General Electronics knows about that spot? I mean, we've we've casted it so many times. Yeah, yeah, and it is becoming a more meta spot. A yeah. lot of a lot of people are starting to play it. Uh, just because of the benefits i mean that's a secondary line watching that push that coach just made to take the cap that position would have stopped it Let me look at that now knowing the terrain and everything you're not catching anything from crater so having that far north low terrain push it's it's not really protecting so it's all having those supplemental positions on the north side for that. And Messino has it. Karma wants it, and so does Gavanter. I don't think, has anybody even, like, attempted to try to peek? Gavinator? Peek what? peak where soldiers is at no no i don't think so i think that's a long ways away yeah um canadian did cross and karma is spotted by coach i mean that akm did some work here on mid and there goes messino oh tap fire here on mid solid I play because it die. wouldn't be the greatest position for soldiers right to have to let shots ring out onto Gavinator when you have Karma and Canadian behind right. them where they could flank them simultaneously. Yeah. Yep. And they actually do hear footsteps from Gav. Or Karma. Sorry, Gav went down. Yeah. All right, Karma. Down. Yeah, Karma pushing down to lower dumpster. What can they find here? I mean, nothing much because Coach well, is Well, nothing, in. yeah. Yeah, maybe craft, but I don't think they can shoot with those... Yeah. With the tent right there. You're right. They can't. Uh, they can't see through the the tent. They fixed it on both. Yeah. Both versions of this map, Quest and PC VR. I don't see anyone. I didn't see anyone. All right. Yeah, they were thinking on top, but right here, Karma, being real loud. Yeah, letting the, soldiers uh, uh, know uh, exactly what direction they're coming from. Comes Karma Ooh. pushing west, south church. Soldiers could do something about this. Marksman could hear yep. these footsteps pretty soon. Soldiers actually hears two. Yeah. There goes Canadian. Messino downs and finds Karma there. And there's the cross. Oh. Here comes soldiers. And finds it on a big push with the AK-12. It's a one other 1v5. And they know exactly where he's at. How did Ryan not get headshotted right there? <laughs> I don't know, but that is a very, very bad spot to be in. Somehow they're missing each other. I don't know how many yeah, more mag mag count. Trying yeah, to shoot through the tent. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna keep shooting at him. Ryan has yeah. the last. This is the last mag. Gives that up. I, I think Coach might snag a headshot right now. Yeah. 
And that's soldiers, actually. 15 seconds. I mean, the only thing Ryan can oh, do... Oh my gosh, I thought what? that frag went in the hole. I thought it went in. <laughs> no. I thought we were about to see the like world a greatest three-point <laughs> shot from Upper Dumpster. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm Listen, I'm going to be real with you. I'm trying not to fall asleep. God, this map is too slow for me. But, Way man, too slow. look, look. Well. Look what? Do we have a drop on General Electronics? Let's see. Because they are showing no kills. And... That's, I mean, technically, Gavin was the only one who got it even a kill. Okay. Right? Because they fragged out whoever was pushing. I think they killed Kraft, who was pushing yeah. Hotel. But other than that, nobody. I think Gavin is 0 0, so they must have t taken off the helmet and put him back on, so their KDs yeah. are refreshed. But yeah, right now, folks, General Electronics, they have zero kills across the board, Gavanter, technically, with just but one. But still, a 3-0 with only losing one player in those three rounds. Unstoppable. Raptors is on track to finding... two rounds. Two rounds. True. Two rounds. Raptors is on track to... Yeah, I don't know. Um, 3x1l36 is asking, Chumbe, who do you think is winning this game? I think Raptors. I think... Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, Shipwreck? Yeah, yeah, they, they, after that first cap in suburbia, yeah. the fire was lit. For real. The fire was lit. <laughs> that fire was lit. Okay, round number three. This is the different OBJ. We're here on North Heli. Raptors with the quick spawn. I'm assuming. No. Okay, no aggressive peaks. They are spreading no. out. Look at Khan. Yeah, pushing out. What? Oh! Missing everything. Oh, and missing the frag. Was it cooked? Center, center, center. Oh, man. Khan should have just pushed because now Raptors, they've got oh. eyes on. Well, Coach or Messino called out center, Three center, hundred. center. I don't know and Coach is center. looking at Messino through the window thinking that's the call out. Oh shit, you're there. Khan's gotta be careful! There's Coach! They've okay, got eyes on. Whoa, and they get mid! Oh my gosh! What is even going on right now? I don't know. They're just, they're really quick with their flicks. They're not worried about getting a gun up. They're just worried about getting out of those binds. Ooh, good try. Crash shuts that down. Yep. The one. Yep. That was the potential to be that power defensive play. Right. If if they could have got into that north center bungalow, that could have devastated Raptors. I got a big boo-boo and dead. <laughs> but, it's really dangerous. I mean, yeah, yeah. But if if you can make get there, it's totally worth it. One hundred percent. Here comes Kraft. Risky. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Canadian oh. finds him. An aggressive peek from the second floor of hotel. All right. 3v4. Looks a little bit more manageable. But what I'm really concerned about is this southern swing by the Raptors from coach and friendly. If they push through West Road, I don't know if Canadian will be aware of it. And they could go for a cap if they kill. Yeah him on hotel yeah like if, if they come down west road and get into the downstairs and go in dark room that's a concealed cap all day long and canadian taking his eyes off the sole position to protect that angle There you go. Eyes back on West Road. 
I mean, clearly, they're aware of this weakness in the defense. Yeah. But yeah, you can tell Soldiers is in the same spot they've been in this entire time. Same thing with Messino. Marksman, the only one pushing up with Coach. Coach is really the, the final jigsaw puzzle for this Marsoc push. If Again, if they make it on this yeah. West Road that Canadian is watching, it's all over for General Electronics. This could be a 5-0 here on Downfall, map two. Yeah. I, I think this is the setup phase. Now Soldiers is starting to rotate. Gavanter should be hearing these footsteps soon. Yeah. Even may but, have seen a flash of soldiers. Yeah, soldiers and Gavinator know where each other are. And it's just who's going to who's gonna try to peek at first. Interesting. Gav with the FAMAS. Uh, do, sorry, sorry. You said oh. that soldiers knows that Gavinator's in here? Yeah, his, his laser's right on him. He's waiting for it. Peeking the exact window. I mean... You're right. Oh, look at that. Look at that flash oh rolling my right to him. Gosh. What, the onward gods are with you, soldiers. <laughs> Marksman takes down Canadian, and the only line of defense on West Road is gone. General Electronics, they are completely exposed to get capped on from Coach in the far south. There goes Marksman. A quick refrag, but Messino still strong on mid. Here comes and that push Coach. by Coach. Karma goes down. It's off left. The Gavanter could get capped on. At this point, they know where he's at. Let let Coach get another cap. He he does. No, Gavanter is going to expose himself. Gavanter knows what to do. There's that M249. Coach is still moving. Oh yeah, smoke it out, flash it what? out. What? Gavanter makes it past soldiers. That flash it hits beautifully, and Messino oh. trades. It's 4-0, folks. It's 4-0. Oh, he wasn't pushing objective. I would have let. I would have. I would have taken one for the team and right. let coach get a second cap. Exactly. But each is their own. I mean, still solid gameplay. Raptors really stepping it up. Yeesh. That's it, folks. A very close game on map one by GE. Started off strong, 3-0. Raptors caught up. One first map. Suburbia, 4-3. Raptors. And now here on Downfall, their own map pick, 4-0. Blowing General Electronics out of the park on their map pick. But what can GE pick? Bands up on the board here, folks. Snow Peak and Quarantine band from Raptors. Oh, so from, from GE and Arctic and Cargo band from Raptors. We could see Suburbia. We could see, uh, it's not Suburbia. We could see Subway. We could see Bazaar. We could see USS Quest. I think General Electronics are going to lean towards a close quarters map. What do you think, Shipwreck? Yeah, I'm going to say, I, I don't know why, but Subway's screaming at me. Okay. I, I don't know why. I think, yeah, Subway, Subway is... Subway or Bazaar, one of the two. That's a big bite. I don't know if General yeah. Electronics will be able to chew on that one properly against a team like Raptors. But yeah, I'm leaning towards USS Quest. But we'll be right back uh, once we know map three and with the rest of this series, but Raptors, they have officially won. My name is Chumbe, co-caster Shipwrecked with me here. Stay tuned. There's Takito again, flying out, rifle in hand, catches one, two, three. Oh, no! Big Rule is right on top of and there's a double kill that comes in from Cozy can see into the EMP inside. Two fire situation in. Oh my god! No! That's my four! Three! Except and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, fire as far. This gotta be real big. I got
gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids, just kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. No do-overs, there's no mulligan. In the struggle, who will rise? Undefeated performance from that high tape final scene. Hey Onward Lovers, I'm Vermal. Update 1.14 offers a sparkly new bazaar, where it's our familiar favorite media range map, but with some refreshed textures and some in-game objects in map design. Market stall drapes have been given a haircut. Welcome back, folks. My name is Trumbic, my co-caster Shipwreck, the guy who's always right, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> God, okay, well, welcome back, folks. Map three is confirmed. Shipwreck was right, it was Subway, not USS. And um, yeah, here we go. Round number one, center OBJ. Talk to me about this one. I mean, it is containable and something that we're not seeing a lot of so far is C4 that Marksman just placed in service yeah, basement, tunnel. Basement. Interesting. Uh, he's on the yeah. Sorry, I was, I was focused on that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. That'll yeah, be good. Four. We subbed in my YouTube. Um, YouTube.com slash Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Little, Beast. Little banner. Whoa! Double here by Craft. Good for two picks. Onto GE. Shutting down the South. Very good. And then they called out Karma and Ryan in Horseshoe. Yeah, a lone Marsog here in the here in basement. This one's gonna be a tough one, especially since soldiers yeah. is there on the bottom. Oh, and the pre fire. Khan taking shots in service. I don't think they see the C4 yet. There's that. No. Yeah, the nade doesn't catch the C4. Nope. There it is. What oh. a nade. Didn't expect that one. <laughs> nope. And uh, yeah, we didn't either. Didn't expect <laughs> it. Gonna go. I can bounce it off the wall. Oh. Trick shot. Oh, Alright. They they know they're in horseshoe. They know two's in horseshoe. Well, Marksman called him out. Ooh, is Kraft coming in on the flank? He is. Stop. Oh my gosh. From the south all the way to overpass and now horseshoe. Both of them are lined up perfectly for him in the north. No, coach catches one. Craft, if they're fast enough, they could frag Ryan on their rotation back to the south end. Coach is making it pretty undesirable. No, here comes a swing by Craft. Oh. No, it's oh, Ryan who catches it. Way. Really fucking clean. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Ryan really impressed with his own shot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now he's he's contemplating what to do. I mean, they're throwing utility in the south. They've got coach blocking the north. Three minutes, he could rotate out. He's taking the flanker. Are they going to send another flanker? Nothing yet. Yeah. I mean that that's that's what you gotta do when you're playing. You gotta analyze these. Hmm. Ryan feeling a little paranoid. Up there, he's shooting. Yeah. Him Trying to play some mind games. Doesn't he just threw his gun? Like he doesn't have a gun anyway. Ooh. 
Soldiers did see that gun toss. That nade lands short by Ryan once again. Let's look yeah. at this double crosshairs. Nasty. And another one from Messino. Three crosshairs, Ooh. Marksman. Yeah. Ryan's here again. Pinned on map three this time. There goes Marksman. First point to Raptors. I was enjoying his own little commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. I, I think that really gave the really gave uh Raptors that that extra bit of fire to light them up because since then they've been unstoppable. Right. Yeah. Dang. The last time Raptors were in a 1v4, 1v5, they won that map. So I yeah. think we're going to see sub Subway going down that hole too. Yep. I don't know. I personally think General Electric's, General Electronics should have definitely gone for USS Quest. That's yeah. just my opinion. Because Bizarre... Oh, we got... Yeah, yeah. Two C4s this time. Two C4s. Let's keep your eyes peeled, folks. Round number two, we're hopping right in. General Electronics on the defense. Yeah, Karma has one and Khan has one. Looks like Karma's going into Horseshoe and Khan's going down to Service and a flashlight. Yep. This could be interesting. Yeah. I'm following Khan. You follow Karma. <laughs> All right. Flashlight. Oh, Karma's going to do this quick. Oh, C4 placed really out in front. Flash. Oh, no. I think that was a mistake there by Khan. I don't know if that worked. C4 placed pretty aggressively. All right. No one's coming down Horseshoe, but that is a pretty good spot on four for Karma. There's a this Great news. Khan has got that pixel angle. Yeah. They're watching that intermediary hallway. But so far, so good for Raptors and General Electronics. Yeah. Yeah, making call outs. Oh. What are you looking at? I was I was seeing the General Electronics are starting to lose discipline, a lot of movement. Karma has rotated from Horseshoe down to the center tracks. And I am Ryan has now moved to the lower platform. Oh yeah, the underground station. Yeah. Northern side of it. Or is that Gav? Oh no, they're just under there. No, yeah, no, Gavin's on top watching the North Stairs. So a little audible play. Ooh. Whoa! Khan C4s, I, I one on but somehow Khan, whoa, get down. There goes Marksman pushing into the south. It's a two on four. Raptors looking strong. Revive and possible Gavin's on OBJ. And going for the revive. No, coach is there to ooh, confirm it. Beautiful. Beautiful movement. Gav just a little too late. Soldiers is pushing, and Karma does hear these footsteps. I think... Yeah, I mean, Gav and Karma, they're in, like, very meta positions. Gav has got to push in. Oh, no, that flash is going to catch him. And that pre-fire, they tuck back in safely. But luckily for them, Soldiers isn't peaking aggro. Another, another piece of util. Gav has got to tuck in. Aggressive. Oh, and there goes Marksman punishing them. It's all up to Karma on the middle of yeah. the tracks. Completely surrounding them. Yeah, he's on the track. He's on 
There goes Coach! 2-0 yeah. for Raptors. That's cool. 2-0. Yeah, completely surrounding everybody and just making that steady push. And just collapsing in on General Electronics. My gosh. Really impressive stuff here by Raptors. I mean, clearly, Suburbia was to... Uh, <laughs> was the General Electronics, but here we go. Third caster here tonight just to sit with us and enjoy, eat some popcorn, um, unwind. Kale, how you doing? Man, I am doing wonderful tonight, chum. Uh, <laughs> doing yeah, just superb. It's, I'm having a magnificent night. Got to put some babies to bed. A little late getting to the party tonight. Shipwrecked, always a pleasure seeing you. Um, yeah. Happy to jump in for our map three. Um, you know, watch just a little bit of this last round. Raptors looked really good. They surrounded the objective, made good coordinated push there. Um, G, a little, uh, as you mentioned, Shipwreck losing a little bit of the discipline and kind of getting a little wiggly and kind of not holding the lines. And uh, let's see what next round, uh, what's what we have in store for us. I mean, Kale, what'd you think about Suburbia? I first want to get, I want to rack your brain for that. What'd you think about oh that cat gosh. from Khan? That was bananas. That was bananas. Like, I was like, oh my gosh! Like, I was trying to not to wake up my kids as right, I put right. them to bed. I was so excited right. from watching that. Watching that. And then the turnaround. Uh, I mean, too often Dark Tidings has come from a 3-0 and then lost it in the end. Um, and Suburbia was just, I mean, it was it was so good. Um, I mean, Raptors, it's it's almost like they're like, all right, let's brush, you know, get the get our old man bones, get a little loosened up, even though most of them aren't old. Um, and they loosened up and got right into it. With that being said, Soldier picks us Gavinator down in uh, uh, server room. That's a big pick in server room. Yeah. Soldier's multitasking there with Marksman. I mean... Talk to me, Shipwreck. Like, expectations for this GE push down in the south uh, in the basement. Yeah. Soldiers on the move. Yeah, they, they have a strong three push, the three man push into the server or red room. And, I mean, they've, they've got it locked down, leaving only two on objective. Right. So, it's a strong play. They're really anticipating that, and at first, I didn't. It didn't look like they were gonna go in there, but okay. yeah, they pushed into it. Marksman, we'll call this out because nobody can push into this area unless they're above them, and that's exactly yeah. where GE's at. It's a three-player push. So far, they can only hear Ryan. Uh, everybody else, Canadian and Karma, they are quiet, proning down the stairs, but yeah. making a lot of noise. I think Ryan is uh, on the hot seat. Oh, they actually see yeah. soldiers. Ooh. What? I thought they were about to pull Karma out, too. They were right on top of each other. There goes Coach with the AKM, as always, and Soldiers is on the move again. Oh, a third pick. What? Yep, Karma Karma peeked out. And... Is oh, this no, real? Was Ryan, where was Ryan at? Ryan was uh, on the main road. Look at the replay right here. That's yeah, where Ryan, Ryan was. Ryan was on South Train, okay. uh, South Train tracks, um, track one, and had actually a line on soldiers pushing up and was waiting for the perfect shot, and he didn't take that early shot, and his uh, friends coming down the south uh, ended up paying for it. Jeez. And that's crazy. I mean, it's we're seeing a just from – and I guess it's their play style. I mean, just changing it up. I mean, they were more focused and disciplined. And right. now it's, I mean, they're not doing those because they were pre-firing like crazy everywhere on Suburbia. Right. They were on the move on Suburbia. They were really yeah. active, very, yeah, on their on their, on their their toes. Again, I said at the beginning of, of uh, round two, Raptors, they came out 1v5, 1v4. They, they're going to win 4-0, and that's, I think, my prediction stands strong. Yeah. Kale, we haven't seen this amount of viewership on a matchup like this. I mean, how do you feel tonight? With the, with, is the community coming together or what? Boss fight back in the back in the back in the Boss league. Boss fight, deadly viper. I mean, right? I, I, to me, I think this this season's going to be the revival of onward. I I think this is going to be um, 
you know, we're going to get some of the older teams to come back. I think we're going to have some new viewership. I mean, we're, what, up to 45, 50 viewers okay. tonight. Exactly. Uh, I mean, I, I think this is this is great stuff for the um, Onward here. Um, and it looks like we have a big spread out from the GE team. Um, so we got some Six north times. coverage, uh, maintenance door, south, and one on objective for security. Be um, what Raptors does. Yo, Dog soldiers has... dropped his gun. Soldiers lost his gun. Has <laughs> <laughs> anybody seen my gun? I'm lost. Oh no. Soldiers look helpless. Come back. Come back where? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. You just need some guidance. <laughs> Gonna meme. Yeah, Gonna Colin. Get up for uh, soldiers. Has anybody seen my gun? Okay, there it goes. I was just about to comment. He has a C4, but he hasn't thrown it out yet. Yeah, about that's... To contend with Marksman. Flashlight was tossed, but not that C4. But now that it's there, Clacker not in hand. Oh, yeah, Clacker equipped it. Um, hey, ship, shipwreck, break this down. Because, like, what I'm expecting is Khan to actually peak aggressive. I think Khan's going to yeah. die. Yeah, I don't think Marksman yeah, is going mean... to do anything. Um, look at Karma finding soldiers. That's a big pick. Yeah. Yeah, even if Marksman doesn't get him and he blows that C4, okay, he is he is moving it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I think he's I think he's right there to get picked off by his own C4. Con over there asking for a knife <laughs> fight. <laughs> yeah. And then he's Marksman's like, All right. like, no, I'm not being baited into this. <laughs> I'm packing up and leaving. Four v five. And they both push out. They both push away from it. They're like, okay, marksman's off. Push. Oh, marksman is off. Yeah, but four v five, and I'm like, hey, where are Raptors? Here they are. They're on overpass. And yeah, marksman at... not falling for it. Just completely letting the banner get to him. Oh, coach finds Khan. Very aggressive push. They Brass deny them. Up on Ryan and overpass right now. Coming to the engagement. What? And a trade. Gosh, I was really ready for it, but I missed it. Good trade by Kraft. They did save the day with the revive being available. General Electronics, there's only one player behind Raptors' um, friendly count. Any predictions, Kale? Yeah, so uh, Raptors have overpass. Messina's going to see Gavinator here in a moment, um, right here on South Train. They're going to take center platform. With center platform done, um, they'll start clearing out the rest. No coach pickup karma there. And there goes Messina with Gavinator. That leaves 1v4. Canadian enemy. is rotating back onto objective. I mean, he's. He's going to be approached from multiple angles, yep. and he's going to do his best. He's going to put on his hero, his superhero uh, uh, cape. Well, now he's do dancing. His best, but I think it's going to come down to <laughs> come down to Raptors. With a good, good enclosure and completion. I don't think Canadian's going to go down without a fight, though. Two minutes, thirty-eight seconds, and counting for Raptors. Two coming from south. One. On the doorstep, Kraft from the north, Messino on the south as well. I think there's going to be a huge pinch, and we're going to see yes. the Raptors' best performance in a 1v4. A simultaneous yeah, I mean, look, push. Yeah, exactly what you're saying with the pinch and the push. I mean, just everyone look at the map right now. Just watch the timings <laughs> and how they're coming. And Kraft is coming down. Marksman and who is that coach coming down from the long line? Messino's coming for that piece. I mean, the timing is just perfect right now. I mean... Oh, Kraft making some noise. Canadian is ready for it. Finds that AK-12. Where's the Raptors to punish it? There's Marksman on the tracks. And it is indeed a 4-0. Amazing job. A cleanup on the underground aisle. Masterclass by Marksman. Yep. 4-0. I told you, man. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Hey, you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> this time I got it right. I couldn't get the map pick right, but at least I got the, the points right. GG's, folks. Uh, all three maps to Raptors. A really exciting time in the league. This is our 16th season since 2017. If you are new here and you are interested in participating, if you just even want to substitute for a team, go and sign up on our website, vrml.com forward slash onward. VRML also 
hosts various leagues from other games as well. Breachers, Vale, x and Pavlov, to name a few. We have a in-person convention coming up where all four games, all four major first-person shooters, will come together in a, I guess, yeah, like season finals, uh, apart from Onward. But yeah, stay tuned. Check out VRMLCon.com if you're interested in our in-person event. That is, again, in Denver, Colorado, July 20th to the 21st. Buy tickets now. One ticket is good for both days. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Any finishing thoughts on this matchup? No, I mean, it was a, a edge of your seat from, from round one, and it, it really put Raptors in their place, and they had they turned around and turned them boosters on and, and denied everything beyond that. I mean, solid gameplay from them. Kale, what'd you think? Incredible. I mean, Suburbia was amazing coming back to a 3-3. Um, you know, exactly what Shipwreck said. And then, we, you know, we moved into map 2 and 3. And the experience and the... Um, uh, not confidence, that's not the word I'm looking for. But the, the you, you see, you know, the years of experience kind of coming out. The right. staying put, holding their lines, really, you know, not getting overly, you know, looking for the picks, looking for the kill count, really kind of, hey, this is my role, this is what I do. And, uh, you know, that, that excel at this game really came out for the Raptors there. That's really true. Mm-hmm. Folks, that's going to be it for us tonight. This was the Onward Viewer Master League. My name is Chumbe. Shipwrecked and Kale to my right. To to my right. To my, my <laughs> left. You're right. It's going to be it. Raptors take all three maps. Stay tuned. A lot of more weeks coming for Season 16. I'll catch you next time. RML is brought to you by Downpour Interactive, Helga, the esports manager. Thanks for watching VRML.